Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Broken Sword 2, and when last we left off, George Stobart got to be a stuntman in a movie, which conveniently let him get to the location where Ketch's treasure was. The most important thing in it was the stone, of which Nico has one of them. George has two of them, and George is nowhere to be seen, because the village was attacked, I imagine, by the General's men. They clearly are involved in this somehow, more directly than we first thought. We have George's glasses, they were George's shades, and we only have one person here who's helping us out, somebody that we've seen before. It was Titipoco. I still hadn't forgiven him for knocking me out with his poison dart. He's pointed in this direction, and we'll have a look there in a moment. Right now, we're going to have a look at the devastation that's around us. That barrel would have looked great on my patio, filled with shrubs. Is there anything in the barrel? There was nothing in the barrel. Fair enough. Is there anything in this barrel? The barrel contained cool, refreshing water. That's handy. The barrel was too heavy to move. I'm not quite sure why we're trying to move it right now. Let's talk to you, shall we? We can only talk about George's glasses, and I imagine George. These are George's shades, right? Has he been here? <gasps> George! Where is he now? What's that? It looks like the stone we bought from Paris, but it's different. Yes, it has a carving of an eagle. That clinches it. Georges must have found this stone in the Caribbean, and managed to hide the stone when the village was attacked by Karzak's men. I hope to God that Georges was alright. I'm sure he's fine. And this is when we find out that George is dead. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Where's Georges? George has been here, right? He was pointing to the smoldering remains of a hut. That's not good. Let's have a look at this first. It was a smashed lantern. Probably the cause of this destruction. Poss I didn't need the lantern since it was still daylight. Besides, it was broken. Probably is the cause of all the destruction, but I imagine it was a little more than a lantern. What we need to do is we need to figure out just what happened here. More importantly, we need to... Uh, ah, there's something we can look at here. It was a very hot and blackened stone. That might very well be the third stone. It was too hot to pick up. Maybe if we got your help, we could push this over so that we could then get that stone, and then we'd have all three of them. We certainly need to uh, prevent what's going to happen at the Eclipse, even if we don't know where George is. There was nothing I wanted to ask him. So we can't pick this up. So let's see if we can uh, do this again now that we definitely have a location that we want to get uh, a lot cooler. Let's try again. I just didn't have the strength to tip that barrel. Now let's see if you can help us. You can, or at least I hope you will. Hey, Shorty, make yourself useful and help me with this barrel. Thanks. Excellent. Now we can grab this stone. It was the Coyote Stone, the original stone that I found in Paris. And now we have all three of them. I had the Coyote and Jaguar Stones, Titipoco had the Eagle, according to the Shaman. That's all we needed to deal with Tezcatlipoca. Pity he hadn't any ideas for dealing with Karzak. What is it? Where 
where are you pointing? He's probably pointing to where we need to go. This way. Anything else we can talk there about? There was nothing I wanted to ask him. Fair enough. We're going to go this way. Into the jungle. Titipoko was pointing to a path which led out of the village. Well, that's where we're going. Off we go! And he's going to follow. We arrived to find Georges being led up the stairs. We clearly didn't have much time. Definitely don't have much time. There are lots of things that we can look at here, but I imagine going up the stairs is a really bad idea. So first we're going to grab everything that we can. Like the rope here. It was a length of strong rope. We could always do with that, so we'll grab it. But what are we going to use it on? Hmm. Could we have you do something with it? We could use it on this. No, we can't. The scaffold gantry went all the way up the pyramid. Ah. If we got you to climb it, then we could climb the rope. I doubt that's going to work. I bet we can't climb the it. The scaffold gantry went all the way up the pyramid. There's a machine here. The engine looked like it was supposed to power the lift. Why don't we use it? Probably because we don't know how. It was an old electricity generator. We need to connect these up, I wager. But if we go over here, we probably can't climb that. Hey, senorita! Too late. I had been seen. Bonjour, Capitaine. <laughs> Only Sergeant, pretty one. What are you doing here? There's a lot of things we could say. None of these are a good choice. Let's just talk about the general, shall we? Snuggles said I could come here with him. Snuggles? Oh, I mean the general. We are, uh, friends. May I go up the pyramid? Ah, uh, we have strict instructions not to let anybody pass. Oh, but I've told you who I am. Surely nobody would mind. Well... Oh, please, I'd be ever so grateful. I tell you what, I'll ask Pablo if it's okay for you to go up. If Pablo saw me, I'd be dead. Uh, no, it's not worth the bother. I'm not really that interested in their stupid pyramid anyway. Well, okay. It's men's work up there anyway. I'll just run along and play around here, okay? Okay, you do that. That was a lucky escape. That could have gone much worse. It looked like Karzak was using Quaramontean troops and local Indians as his guards. There are a lot of people here. It looked like Karzak... And I bet we can't talk to any of them barring you, but we could try. I didn't want to push my luck by talking with the guards again. So we're not going to be allowed to go up here. Not unless we want uh, this man here to talk to Pablo and for us to then get shot. The steps were guarded by a bunch of Karzak's thugs. We're going to need to find another way up, and I think the way up is going to be this way. There's something we can grab here. Something very small. It was a small, screw-fit cylindrical housing. Time to take it. You never know when that could come in handy. It was a small, screw-fit cylindrical housing. I've no idea what it will be useful for, but we'll take it anyway. We could talk to you. Do you have anything to say? There's a lot we can talk about, including the chocolate. Would you like some chocolate, Titipoko? It's good vintage. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. It's very old. How did you hook up with a maniac like Karzak in the first place? Karzak? Whoop, whoop, loco! Yes, he scares me too. And there's nothing else we can talk about. We can't climb this, but perhaps you can. Let's see if we can get you to climb up this. Worst case is that you say no. We can ask about the rope. Titipoko, 
I have an important job for you. Take this rope to the top of this scaffolding and throw it over the top. Oh. He's a good climber. Wow, that was really impressive. The rope hung down from the top of the gantry. We need to use this. Can we use it on the engine? I see what we're going to do now. Don't quite yet know how we're going to do it, but I'm certainly going to try. We've made half of a pulley system. It was a small but very enticing button. Can we use this now? The button didn't seem to do anything. Hmm, I wonder why. We're missing something here. We're very much missing something. It was an old electricity generator. Ah, there's something else here that's rather obvious. I didn't notice it before, but there is this. It looked like a fuel line. Do we have something that can... We still have this. I'm surprised we still have this. But we could use this. We can use this to... What can we do with this? Ah! Can we use this here? Ah, can we use this on this? No. No, we can't. But we have some fuel. It was the cylinder from the generator, now full of petrol. We really want to uh, use that on something. Is there something that we can use it on? Can't use it on this, and we can't use it on that, so we'll just put that down. I like the fact that the uh, game allows us to uh, keep that there. Also, there is a massive puddle of uh, fuel here. The fuel from the severed line had formed a pool. Anything here that I haven't no- Ooh! There's something here! The cap was attached to the lift engine by a chain. Ah, we could lift that. Eventually. Either that or we'll have to uh, force it off. Let's try this, shall we? Can we just lift it up? We can't just lift it up. Hmm. Maybe we need to grab it or get you to help us move it? The cap was attached to the lift engine by a chain. Or maybe we just use this on that. That might do it. This here. There we go. And I think, yep, we've retained this. And I think this enticing button will now work. Enough for us to get all the way up to the top of the pyramid. The motor spluttered into life. Let's go, shall we? On to here. Anything else we can talk to you about first, though? There was nothing I wanted to ask him. Well, off we go! On to here. And then we'll use this? Or do we have to use that first and then get on this? Aha! It works now! That's handy. Can we get it to come back? I bet we can. We know that he can climb up, but we can't, so maybe we can get him to use the uh, switch here. We can. Titipoco. 
When I tell you, I want you to copy what I am doing. Copy. Right, we're showing him how it works. Time to go on here. And tell him... Okay. Copy. Excellent. Up we go! George! I realized those bastards were going to sacrifice George to Tezcatlipoca over my dead body. Thankfully, George was the only one to notice me. Where are they? The eclipse is about to happen. Patience. Your mother will be here soon and Karzak will be close behind. Just keep the Yankee covered and leave the worrying to others. Yeah, Raoul. The maniacs were going to sacrifice Georges. Shut up, Stobart. Just shut up. Calm down. He's no threat. Hey, Raoul. Why don't you do us both a favor and shoot Pablo? You're very funny, Stobart. I haven't forgotten Marseille. When Karzak cuts your heart out, I'll be the one laughing. I'll bet I'm not the only one due for the chop around here either. Hey, Raoul? I'm warning you. Raoul was a bundle of raw nerves. I hoped George wouldn't push him too far. So we need to do something here, and that's not talking to any of these two, because we'll die. It was Pablo, Karzak's right-hand sadist. We can actually say hello. That's a bad idea. A very bad idea. General Raoul Graziento. I didn't fancy Raoul's chances once Karzak didn't need him anymore. Me neither. And there is George. It was a stone table. Given the history of the place, I wondered how many poor wretches had lost their lives and hearts upon it. We're going to have to grab something. Ooh! Karzak's goons had left an ammunition belt lying around. That's handy. Can we grab it? Excellent. And I take it talking to you is a bad idea. If Pablo had seen me, he'd have killed me. It was as simple as that. And I imagine the same applies for you. I might have been able to talk the general around if Pablo hadn't been there. We need to head back down. We have one ammunition belt, and that's pretty much all we have. Something we need to do here. I have an idea. It's a terrible idea, but I have one. There are these here. There was an unlit torch by the base of the steps. Can we take that? And then can we use it to blow up the ammunition? Oh my, that's a terrible idea. Nobody seems to mind that we're taking this. You have a lighter. Maybe we can get this lit. Titipoko, do you still have that lighter gun you pull on me so amusingly? What's going on over there? Do you need help, my pretty? Nothing's wrong. I dropped, uh, a cigarette butt. Everything is under control. I'll have the fire out in a minute or two. You think that? But we're going to throw some ammunition on this fire. This is going to be loud and dangerous. But at the moment, loud and dangerous is the only chance that George has. What's that? What's happening? Trouble. Give it up. The pyramid's surrounded. I'll find out what the trouble is. Watch Stubber doesn't pull any tricks. 
If he does, shoot him in the head, not through the heart. Why does it matter? He'll be dead either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. Well, now Pablo is not here, which means that we can talk to the general. General Raul Graziento. I didn't fancy Raul's chances once Karzak didn't need him anymore. It's time to try and talk him out of doing what he's doing. He's clearly not that keen on doing it anyway. Hello, General. Drop the gun or I shoot! Please, don't hurt me! Don't worry yourself, my finger isn't loaded. Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set George free, and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. The only thing Karzak has on offer is death. You may want to ask Oubier, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Oubier is in Europe. Sure he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother and Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titipoco. Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. I think it's time to talk to George. But that will be next time. For when we come back, folks, we're going to prevent the God of Death from breaking free of the smoking mirror. Or at the very least, we're going to try. We might not succeed, but we'll certainly try. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.